hi welcome back to Rebecca's Travels today I'm going to be doing a comparison video of Greece versus Italy so let's jump right into it now both countries are very beautiful to look at they both have amazing sights to see um, and um, they both have a range of accommodations you can get hotels apartments you can also get studios bungalows um, and again um, a wide variety a variety of board bases in hotels such as bed and breakfast half board full board all inclusive so um yes um that's mainly um all inclusive though in greece and um, italy tends to be either room only bed and breakfast half board or sometimes they do full board um, but yes um, mainly the all-inclusive is Greece um, where you get uh, drinks and everything um, included but again and um, if you read up on your accommodation before you book your holiday then you should not um, then basically you should know what you're getting basically both um, you can uh, have package holidays and um, or you can um, also have flight and hotel um, generally package holidays are cheaper generally but sometimes there might not be it really depends on where you're traveling from and um it, it just depends what sort of holiday you're going on as well um, you can get cruise ships uh, going to both places um, and you can also have a get a Mediterranean cruise that goes um, to other places but again um, if you do decide to go on a cruise um, holiday then again if you look in the brochure then it tells you exactly what you're getting um, on a cruise holiday um, a lot of uh, cruise holidays um, are all inclusive um, um, but the cruise um, holiday should tell you what type of accommodation you're uh, having um, and also what places you're, you're going to be visiting on the cruise and for for the duration and um, because some cl cruises are longer than others um again um i've seen some amazing places in both greece and italy um Konos, um which is um has an amphitheater and museum um which it uh, was in crete and is a fabulous uh, place uh, to go um also uh, also um there's also been some fantastic um sites in italy that i've seen such as um the leaning tower pisa um again uh, again you can for both countries you can get beach holidays resorts on um the beach um and with both places you can get quite a resorts 
and uh, livelier resorts as well. Um, both places um, have a great, a great markets to go and look around and some great uh, museums to look at. Um, if you want to um, more nightlife then both places um, have low key resorts but they also have uh, livelier resorts as well. It really depends um, on whereabouts you're staying in that co uh, country um, and basically what, uh, what the town or village or city has to do in it. There's um, for for both countries that you're you can get um, hotels um, and bed and breakfasts um, and other types of accommodation um, in rural places and um, in the mountains. So. Um, I will say that um, also um, Greece does get that bit hotter than Italy in general um, even though when we went to Rome um, it was very hot, hot then but um, in Greece uh, in high season it's been like over 100 degrees specifically in Zakynthos, Corfu and in the 90s in Crete so it's been very very hot, hot. Um, you can go uh, go to both uh, uh, places um, in season and out of season obviously both Italy and Greece are the same as any other country they're less busy out of season and the prices are cheaper out of season than what they are in se its season such as June to August time um, but again um, you do get uh, some good weather and um, you can in both way, uh, places out of season um, as well um, I think um, again in general I think there is more sites to see in Italy um, as a whole um, such as Mount Etna in Sicily and Vesuvius um, in Campania in Italy then you've got um, um, the big cities such as Milan with its beautiful castle but uh, you can get some also beautiful sites um, in Greece as well such as Conos in uh, Crete um, again um, both countries um, are very green um, particularly um, Corfu um, that's one of the greenest islands um, of Greece or probably the greenest island and also northern Italy or northern central Italy is also very green as well um, that in Italy transport um, again is more regular um, in northern and northern central Italy than say southern Italy um, where there's not so many cars on the road or there's not so many trains uh, going about um, in so uh, southern Italy and um, the northern Italy it's 
a lot more busy up in northern central and northern Italy than what it is in the south um, in general um, southern Italy is um, mainly agriculture um, and um, northern Italy is uh, more industry and um, like big brands um, so, that, so there's a lot more work in northern Italy and northern central Italy than uh, the south um, but the south does have some really beautiful countryside um, to, uh, to look at um, also the types of food in northern Italy uh, versus south but southern Italy there's uh, more fish um, in the south or in coastal regions in Italy and it's the same with Greece as well there's more fish in coastal regions of Greece than inland um, and um, there's more in northern Italy um, they have more so it's a um, beef um, as the south of Italy uh, they have like cured meats and more lamb but generally in the south of Italy they don't or southern central Italy they don't tend to eat as much meat as in the north and um, in the south it of Italy it's more olive oil extra virgin olive oil as um, in the north um, they cook with um, butter um, ma mainly um, so there's two I mean every region in Italy has its own particular recipes and foods uh, different types of foods um, such as in the north it's more about the meats in the south or coastal resorts it's more about the fish um, as for Greece um, again um, they um, also have um, healthy cuisines um, but uh, again they tend to have uh, like which are like uh, meatballs but uh, they're mainly made with minced lamb or they have a lot of lamb in Greece um, instead of beef um, but um, again in both countries you can get uh, vegetarian options um, if need be and um, as long as you let the hotel and know before um, you book um, a lot of hotels in Greece um, are buffet uh, based um, as Italian hotels they've been less buffet based but um, more um, that you get a few, a few choices on the menu but obviously um, if you let them know if you are vegetarian or vegan or have any specific dietary needs before you go on holiday then the hotel should be able to accommodate that again um, both places if you're self catering um, have supermarkets um, in resorts and they also um, in Greece um, have um, a wide variety of flights from different UK airports and um, in Italy um, it <laughs> To get to northern Italy, it's mainly like Manchester in the north, um, Birmingham or um, 
in the Midlands or Heathrow Gatwick um, in the South or maybe Glasgow in Scotland um, but they don't do so many flights um, however there's a lot of flights uh, to the Amavity uh, coast which is the south um, of Italy um, so yes um, again, um, you can also pay for other trips and um, extra if you wish. Um, it depends um, again on the Pacific trip to how much it is. Um, so. Um, or you could um, hire a car on holiday. Um, Greece, however, is expensive for car hire. Um, but again, both Greece and Italy, if you want to go off the beaten track and travel by car, then you can do. Um, if you do want to also travel by bus, then you can do. Um, Again, in the south of Italy, um, transport in general is more li limited compared to the north. Um, but you can get um, taxis um, and cabs um, if you wish um, in both Greece and Italy um, to take you to places if you wish. Um, Obviously, if you're not booking a package tour, then you would have to make your own way to your accommodation. Um, but, yeah, yes, both are really nice countries to visit. Um, both have some beautiful sandy beaches. However, with Italy, some beaches you do have to pay for um, as Greece, uh, Greece if um, they're not uh, hotel owned then they are free but in Italy you do, do need to um, see where, uh, whether if you to go on the beach whether it's a public beach which is free or whether it's a private beach whether, that you have to pay for if it's a private beach then it generally has some beds um, and tables obviously if it's a, a free beach then it's not a, it they don't really have those things and um, obviously unless you want to pay extra um but again you can get water sports uh, both in greece and italy so um also skiing uh, you can get go skiing in the Dolomites and um, in Italy um, if you wish um, but again there's a range of activities um, in both countries so um, again you wouldn't be stuck for things to do it's just that um, the Greek hotels generally tend to be more family based and then Italian hotels um, again a three star hotel in Greece is not a three star hotel in Italy I mean some Italian hotels do have halls and accommodation but again not all do um, where as most Greek hotels have pools and other activities such as kids clubs and Italian ones generally don't um, and generally um, Italy is more for like relaxing or sightseeing or maybe doing some water sports or maybe skiing if you're in the Dolomites 
as reefs you can do sightseeing you can do water sports um, and again see uh, museums and old towns um, but um, there's a lot more um, activities in your hotel um, and there's generally wider food options um, in Greece uh, generally than what there is in Italy um, because the Italian hotels that we've been in have been more sort of you pick what you want off the menu whereas Greece you can get how much you want basically um, it's a bit like Spain um, Greece uh, also you do use a lot of hotels you do get um, a, a Greek night um, which is a uh, a great night of entertainment but um, entertainment in Italy again is pro probably not so apparent um, one hotel um, we had a guy playing on th the piano but um, again it's a lot more low-key um, hotel wise and apartment wise in Italy than what it is in Greece anyway thank you for watching please like and subscribe and comment and I'll see you in my next travel video and um, my next uh, travel vi video um, tomorrow is uh, going to be Greece versus Turkey so bye for now and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.